Welcome to the Spike Lee joint family. How does it feel to be in a Spike Lee joint? It, it's that's almost a question that I can't answer. When when I was, I'm from Finland, Helsinki, Finland. When I was 14, my dad took me to New York, and and one of the two highlights of that trip were seeing Stomp the musical that just came out and seeing a Spike Lee joint in a New York City film theater, and the fact that. All of a sudden, I'm in a Spike Lee film, which is not just a film, but it's it's a part of history with its political agenda and its 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 important message. Um, I don't think I'll ever have another opportunity as an actor to be a part of something this important. You being from Finland and like getting into this story, which is still taboo here in America, is not told in the history books and everything like how surprising were you to peel away the elements of the story and find out what really happened I I was an exchange student in Baltimore back in 97 when I was 17 years old that the biggest thing that shocked me a culture shock being a Finnish kid a teenager was how deeply rooted racism is in the culture and the society of America it's everywhere I mean Finland Europe has racism as well but it's not it's not a part of our society. It's not a part of something that exists in every single moment, in every single thing, in culture, politics, society. Um, as an example, I took my one of my best friends, a black girl, to prom, and and my schoolmates and my exchange student family thought that it was an, you know, that it was a disgrace. Me, a white Finnish kid, had never even thought that there would be a society where skin color defines who you are over everything else that's the primary thing that sort of defines categorizes people so for a Finnish kid to to see that I was shocked and blown away and confused at first I thought this can't be real um, and after about a half a year of living in Baltimore I realized it it actually is that that a culture like this can actually exist and uh, and so I've I've thought of these issues since 97 for for the last 20 years or so and uh, it's one of the stories that that I tell people abroad back home in Europe you know people who think America is is a fantastic country I say uh, 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 there's there's some things that you would never guess you could never believe and racism is the number one issue Jordan Peele and Spike teamed up on this last year's get out blew a lot of people away surprised a lot of people do you think this movie may have a similar effect on audiences this year, being shocked and surprised by the content of the movie and, and entertained? Absolutely. This this is a really entertaining film, which is the great part about it. It reaches a, a very wide audience because it's not too difficult. It's not too tough. It's not too up in your face with its political message. You know, you watch it as, as an entertaining buddy comedy slash thriller slash a black exploitation kind of a groovy film and not until the end get you hit with reality of, of, of things and you walk away both entertained and and shocked at realizing what the world is still today I mean we're in 2018 and we still have to think about these things this story takes place in the 70s we still have to think about these things which is completely absurd 